and I think for the electricity and so on, mm. the government does not really need to support. Nowadays, no. renewable energy is the cheapest energy. Mm -hmm. So uh, they just need to get approval to build. Mm -hmm. If we get approval to build, we don't need money or anything else. We can build uh, and, uh, and we can provide this because what Denmark wants is that 100% of electricity yeah. should actually come from renewable yeah. uh, by 2030. And to do this, we have to get the permits to build. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the cheapest in Denmark is the wind turbine on land. Mm -hmm. That's the cheapest electricity and then from solar and then comes wind uh, offshore. Uh, but it's very difficult to get permits to build on land. Now they want everything offshore. So of course it makes it a little bit more expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. So in that sense, uh, the policy is not changed. There's more mm -hmm. this transition into, uh, you could say, beyond uh, renewable energy like, uh, like Power2X. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there has to be, um, uh, we have to get, if we get a hydrogen pipeline infrastructure, Mm -hmm. Then we can supply the hydrogen in. But right now we can make the hydrogen, but nobody to buy it because all the big use is down in Germany. So, uh, so we need a pipeline. And of course, the pipeline the government has to build because private company we cannot build the pipeline. Yeah, yeah. But if they have pipeline, we can we can build without support. We can build the energy and the power tracks. Yeah. But it is a huge investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But. But I think the issue, mm. uh, actually in most of the world now, there's enough money. Okay. There, are, there are too few projects. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are too few projects that are ready to build because it takes too long time yeah. to develop the project. So I think the money is not really a problem for green transition. It's mm. more the permits uh, and the projects that are missing that mm -hmm. it's the money.